This is Jerry again. So this is one of my funky fun guns. This is a Morph 3X. This is just the ridiculous of fun. This thing pumps out 35 shots as fast as you could pull a trigger. Um, it's CO2 powered. It has a little chamber right here that holds your pet, your BBs. Um, it morphs into a pistol. Uh, morphs me. You can take the you can take the stock off. You could take this piece off. You could take the barrel off. You could add the barrel. There's there's three or four ways you can look at the gun. So they call it the Morph 3X. It's not accurate after 20 yards. Uh, well, it's not real accurate after 20 yards. I shoot my um, the local cows that keep chewing on my stuff because it's it only shoots about 500 feet per second or something. Maybe more. Maybe a little bit more. Excuse the airplane. Um, maybe just a little bit more than that. Uh, but could I hit anything with it at 30 yards? I kind of don't think so. Um, I, I have my doubts. I don't know that I've even tried, but there's a... You can see the target. You'll get to hear what it sounds like. Oh, the CO2 cartridge is dead. So that's not even worth listening to. Anyway. Um, so... This gun was 60 bucks. This is my cheapest air gun that I've ever in my entire life bought. Um, you can change the, to change the CO2 cartridge, you just flip the little lever back or frontwards, I don't remember. I can't do it with one hand really. And then you unscrew this and the CO2 cartridge is right, CO2 cartridge is right in here. You just, there's a little screw, you undo the handle and the, the uh, stock. And um, let's see if we can get it off here real quick. Yeah, you can see. It just comes apart. There's a CO2 cartridge in it. And to take the CO2 cartridge out, it's real simple. You just literally unscrew the little screw. It's kind of cool because it's got a little spring on it. So it tucks it up in there when you're not using it. Unscrew it. Take it out. Get a new one. Put it in and you're off and running. Um, good beginner gun. Um, would I shoot anything with it? Eh, probably not. I have chased squirrels around trees with it. Would it kill a squirrel? If you're close enough. Um, 10, 15 yards probably. Would I say to use it as a squirrel gun? No, I wouldn't. Um, plinking in your backyard, playing with it, maybe shooting sparrows in your backyard, something like that. I'm sure it would work. Blue jays. I have no doubts. The one that vantages you got 35 shots. You get about 70 good shots to a CO2 cartridge. This gun's about five months old. I leave the CO2 cartridges in it, and as you could see, this one's dead. So it does leak after two or three months, but I don't know how full it was when I left it in there. Are these good guns? Hey, for kids, I think they're great guns. For me, I love it. I'm, like I said, I'm 62, and I like it simply because I sh what I shoot with it. And you can see, look, it's kind of cool. Now it's a pistol. You know, so now you got a long barrel pistol. And the pistol comes, the, the barrel unscrews, this whole front end comes off. So it turns into a regular size pistol really easily. Um, are these cool guns? Absolutely. Are they worth 50 bucks? Absolutely. Got it from Pyramid Air. Um, so, hey, <laughs> you know, you want to get your son or a really good little gun for Christmas? This is a good one to start with. The CO2 cartridges... And like I said, you get about 70 shots per, so you don't go too crazy in your backyard. They'll shoot more. It'll shoot 90 easily. But if you want power, you're looking at about 70, 80 shots. Um, for what it's worth, it's a good gun. For 50 bucks, I recommend this to anybody who's got kids that just wants to get them started shooting, and they'll have a ball with it. And like I said, I have a ball with it. I go out and shoot in my backyard all the time with it. So there you go. Hope you enjoy all this, and I'm out.